coming to you straight from the Rio Grande and beyond and beyond broadcasting to the four corners of the globe so grab your seat your coffee or your sundowner okay everybody here we go on point as always this is gloves off gloves off Back at you with gloves off. I'm Professor Buitron. I'm here with a great fighter from California, Isaiah Stamen, and uh, how he won his first amateur kickboxing bout. And we'll talk about it and and uh, all that good stuff. Because number one, kickboxing, savat, boxing, wrestling, those are sports that build a man. You know, build build a unit of what a man should be. How we doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Good, good. Well, number one, congratulations. You know, your uncle uh, has much respect, and he said that you won, and I said, bro, let's talk to him because we have to do that. Yeah. And let's touch base. How did you get involved? In this? Let's, talk, let's talk a little bit about that. In fighting, it, originally the move was MMA. That's, that's what I moved to California for. I thought I'd jump right into the cage at first. Um, I had gone to a different gym. When I moved here for about two months and things didn't really work out like I planned it to. And then I found Ranger Cordova Martial Arts on my walk home one day and I stopped in. I, I got to meet Jordan. It, it kind of just took off from there. I fell in love with the place right away. So I've been there ever since. I've been there almost a year and a half now. That's awesome. Uh, what what brought you to the place? What was the differences between that place and the other one you were working on? Um, the style. I like the style a lot. It's not it's not Muay Thai. Yayan is not Muay Thai. It's strictly Filipino. Um, Jordan, good coach. Uh, just the the environment there. It feels like family. You know what I'm saying? All the other places I had been to didn't have that feel to it. Um, that's it, really. You know, it's just a lot of good people trying to get better. We push each other every single day, and that's what I like the most. That's what it's all about. You, you've you competed before, right? Competed in kickboxing? No, no, um, not kickboxing. In other combative sports, right? Wrestling, yes. And how was that? Was that more like collegiate wrestling, high school wrestling kind of thing? So I wrestled all my life. I come. My dad was a state champ in Pennsylvania. My uncle was a state champ in Delaware. My granddad was a national champ in college. Um, yeah, I, my whole family it was a wrestling family. So I grew up just wrestling. I played a little football, played a little basketball, played a little baseball, but wrestling always, always stuck. Absolutely, absolutely. Just like us over here, we came from a pugilist background. You see, both us a lot in yeah. boxing. And that's basically where it's always been. Of course, you you know you admire that, and there's a lot of little traditions, and little things that go inside that you know that that help you other than than others. You know, they, there's a lot more. They expect a lot more from you than than they yeah, do others. Exactly. You know what I mean? So yeah, so you know, so you kind of wear that, which is that's the way in a way it should be that way. But um, um, what was I going to say? Um, how was it your how did they tell you you know you're gonna you're gonna come you're gonna fight uh you're gonna have a bout it's coming up how'd that happen we we've been trying the whole year actually i i think it's maybe four people have pulled out this year maybe maybe three three or four so i've been waiting i've been i've been wanting to fight and i haven't competed in something serious since my senior year of high school. So I, I had fun. It was, it's where I belong. It's what I need to be doing. I need to be competing every every month, every other month. So I was excited. That's awesome. 
That's awesome. Uh, who was your opponent and what challenge did he give you or did he give you or what did you do? Talk, talk, talk a little bit about the fight. So it, it wasn't, I don't think he was much of a challenge, no disrespect. I think not being able to compete in a while was more of the challenge. Like when I got out there, my head was racing. My, you know, you get those butterflies. You know, I had a little bit of that, but I was, I was ready to go though, for sure. Um, the fight wasn't too challenging. He, you know, he pressed forward, you know, Thai style. So it, it kind of made it easy. You know, I kept him off with the jab, you know, worked off the jab. I landed some heavy low kicks. You know, it was, it was, it was a good, good first fight. It was good. I had awesome. Fun. How'd you win? Did you win by decision, knockout, TKO? Yeah. I think it, was a, I think it was a hook, a right hook or something. It was, a, it was like a loopy little hook I threw that knocked him down the second time in the second round. Okay, so you had already, you had knocked him down before? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Congratulations, you know, and we wish you a very good career. Thank you. Gonna you. you know, kickboxing, you see some, more, some in, you're, you're lucky because you're in California. You've seen some in California, and you'll see some like New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Chicago might have some. Every so often you'll see a kickboxing thing. Texas, not so, not so much. Um, we used to, we used to have Savat, Savat's French, French uh, foot fighting, you know, French boxing. We used to have Savat. I think the last competition of Savat that that we had was 2006. That's when there, there was the nationals. Yeah. 2005, 2006, 2006, and uh, we had a great, uh, great turnout. But you know, everybody was off to war you know everybody you know so we kind of lost that that generation and right right now the thing is it's you know just like kickboxing just like boxing just like wrestling you need you compete by experience and you compete by weight and it's yeah. very hard when you have a guy in chicago that's a lightweight and a guy in dallas that's a heavyweight and a guy here that's a middleweight you know what i mean it's very it's very hard to put it together but i'm very i'm proud that you guys are doing it and i'm proud that you guys in california have, has always been a kickboxing uh, state, and yeah. the, the, the abilities to have that is there. It's you know, and it takes a lot to host to, to host a smoker, host an event, and uh, for you to uh, for you to come out, and that's that's great. Are you going? What's your next one? Or do you have one planned? Or uh, October eighth, and then I'd, I'd like to get back in there in November also. So hopefully. You're trying to do one a month. You're trying to do one a month, but you all have a circuit. Is that going to where, where's it? Where's this next fight going to be at? Napa. Napa. Okay. Napa. I know it's in California, but sure. And uh, how how does the ranking system go there? And is it all you're you're a novice until what? And then you're open, or does it matter? I think you get i think you get to take all the stuff off like the headgear and the the shin pads off at like three fights three wins but i'm i'm not too sure i just i just go out and fight that's all i'm trying to do I don't know. it's whatever good awesome what's what are you going to start working on now that you say you know what my coach said i need to work on this i need to get back on this i need to change my my thinking i think right now is just getting in there and competing i've been training it's been two years and saying I haven't just training, but you know, it's, it's different when you're in there. So getting in there and just keep getting in there, keep getting comfortable in there. That's, that's the plan for the rest of the year. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit more about the, the, the club and how that everybody's getting together and how everybody's training. Is there, a, are there a lot of competitors that are going competing or, or trying oh, to yeah, be a couple of fighters? Um, David, Torres, he's he just won a belt in June. I think it was the NorCal IKF something. I don't know the name, but he he got that. He he whooped on the dude all five rounds. I, he won every round. Um, Coach Jordan, he's one. Of, he he fights also. He gets in there. He had a fight in June. Uh, Jeremy, Sam. I think that's it. We got one kid from Romania named David. He had a fight in June also. You know, we, we got a bunch of guys and we push each other every day. So. That's awesome. That's what it that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. 
and I'm, I'm proud that it's going on. Those are the, I like to hear those kind of clubs going, you know what, we're training for this. We're all moving together. That's the type of clubs that everybody should be involved with. Did you learn yeah, we, we got a good group of guys. Edward, I missed Edward. Edward's a stud. So, yeah, we, we got tough guys in there for sure. Absolutely. Well, number one, we're proud of you. Keep on doing it. You guys up there, you know, keep the peace and keep on rolling. Keep on getting inside the ring and let's go forward. That's the only way we can do. And I want to hear you guys' names out there and becoming champions in the U.S. and the world hopefully one day. Thank you. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Much peace and uh, say hi to the folks down there. Give a big hug to Mike. Till next time. Take care. Peace.